All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be doing a quick global preview for the upcoming Fizz Beerus, who from what I've been told will be dropping on global on June 4th, which is about three days from the time this video comes out. And I know a lot of people are planning to completely skip this man's banner, which makes a lot of sense considering we do have the five year anniversary in about a month from now. But if you're one of those people who have a few stones to spare and you're a little bit unsure about whether or not you wanna summon for this guy when he comes out, then hopefully watching this video, watching this showcase will help you make that decision, all right? I mean, even if you already know for a fact you're not gonna summon, and you're a little bit curious about what he can do, then this video is still for you, all right? So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And uh, I will be talking about his details as we go through the video, so don't worry too much about that. But on this first rotation here, we have Beerus with the SDR Topo as well as the Supreme Kai of Time. And he's starting with 133,000 defense, which is pretty good, an attack 160,000. 690 nice okay so pretty decent stats right but he actually gets much more attack and defense after he takes a hit on the turn so he's starting off with a hundred percent defense and he gets a hundred and fifty percent attack when he performs a super attack then he gets an additional attack and defense plus 70 percent within the same turn after receiving an attack so the stats you saw there are decent but it's about to go up a lot Okay, after he takes this hit here. So here we go. First attack from the Beerus. I mean, we're going to take an attack first. And we're going to tank that for 96 damage. Second attack, 58 damage. And... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Four points. What was it? 4.4 4.5? A lot of damage. Um... <laughs> we're starting off the showcase with 4.5 million attack as his first super one thing to note actually is that he actually raises his attack with every super so you could definitely do more damage than that as the longer the event goes right the more attack he gets so uh that was pretty good that was that was a pretty good first showing for the beerus here um i think he actually links better with the west kai he does okay so i'm gonna leave him there with the west kai obviously not the most ideal setup but he should still be very impressive. So 115,000 defense here. And uh, once again, he will be taking a hit first and getting an additional 70% attack and defense. So it's not going to be as impressive as the first super, but we're going to easily get over 3 million. I can say that for certainty. Uh, yeah, 3.7 million. So I've been telling people, man, this dude is really, really good. This Beerus is amazing. It's just very unfortunate, the timing of his release because he's coming out right before the five year anniversary and most people will be skipping and I don't blame anybody for wanting to skip this banner obviously because I mean as good as this banner is, is gonna be and it is a very solid Dokkan Fest banner um, it can't compare to the LR Vegito Blue and LR Blue Gogeta banners I mean if you guys want a full breakdown of this dude's banner as well as all his details his animations, all that good stuff, then make sure to go check out my pass or pull video I made a couple days ago on the channel. You'll probably find a link somewhere above my head over here. Um, but this showcase should also further enhance that video, right? And give you guys even more information to help you decide if you want to summon or not. So as you can see right there, he did take quite a bit of damage from that super, but that was because he didn't take uh, a hit first before the super. So he didn't get a chance to get that additional defense so 83k right there i mean it was some damage still okay though still okay and as you saw he still did 3.4 or got 3.4 mil attack even before taking a hit so we want to get that rotation where he is actually you know what i was gonna say like where we get the active skill also linked with the lr beerus also with the support on rotation after taking a hit that's like the ideal situation um, but I think I'm gonna pop actually you know what maybe I shouldn't pop it here I'm not gonna pop it here because I want him to at least take an attack first right to get that additional 70% so we're just gonna put him over here who does he link better with between the two 
uh looks like the west kai actually okay so we'll put west kai here and we'll finish off this goku we're gonna try to get that rotation where like i said he takes a hit first where he has his active skill where we have at least one support on rotation linked with the beerus okay so no hits taken here still over four million over four million attack and we crit for 3.5 and this dude's amazing he's an amazing unit i just it's hard, it's hard to recommend anybody, you know, spend stones on this banner when we have the anniversary coming. Uh, for me personally, as I've said before, I will be summoning. I'm still going to be fairly conservative. I mean, if this was like randomly dropped in like, I don't know, March or something like that, I would probably go pretty hard for this banner. But sadly, it's not, right? The timing is just not really great. Um, okay, so 3.4 mil right there. And uh, yeah, we weren't able to tank the super too well, but all normal attacks are basically ineffective. Like normal attacks will do double digits to this man. And in this video, I think I might try to get to the MUI stage. I mean, depending on how things go, because I do have quite a few supports on the team. So it might be kind of tough to get past the UI stage. But if we get to the MUI stage, this dude crushes MUI Goku, man. Like MUI Goku has no chance against this Fizz Beerus. It's just that STR stage that always gives me trouble. Okay, so this turn we have, I mean, a pretty good setup actually. Um, I might go for the active skill here. Hmm. You know what? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go for like a bit of a sub-optimal, like still pretty good with the two supports, but not linked with, you know, the LR Beerus obviously, but let's go for this active skill here. And for people who don't know, basically his active skill gives him attack and defense plus 50%, and then attacks effective against all types. And also attacks guaranteed to hit for one turn. So uh, any units who, or any enemies who are able to dodge attacks, this dude will nullify that or just make that ineffective when he pops his active skill. And this active skill can be activated when your HP is 70% or less, starting from, starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle. So obviously we're past the fourth, past the fourth turn and we're below 70% HP, which is why we are able to use this. And uh, yeah, we have 198,000 defense, 421,000 attack, but still we haven't gotten that additional 70% attack and defense yet. So the defense should be quite a bit higher after taking a hit. And hopefully what happens is we take a hit and then we get supered. Um, and uh, we should be able to tank pretty well. All right, so here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so hit me first with the normal. There we go. 36 damage. All right, 72 damage. And... <laughs> oh my god, this dude is awesome. 8 million. 8 million. He actually reminds me a lot of the Tech Broly. Um where like he just has this like one huge nuke, right? Like his normal attacks, his normal supers will do a lot of damage. Like we got up to 4.5 there, right? But when you pop that active skill, he just has this massive, massive nuke of like seven, eight, maybe even 10 million. Um, actually, this is the turn to do it. This is the turn to do it. All right, so we got the Beerus linked with the LR Beerus. We got the support from the Supreme Kai of Time. Uh, wait, hold up. Hold up. Did we just... Didn't... The... Wasn't the active skill available when we started this turn? What happened? Okay, I... am I crazy? Did you guys see that? I... I... I swear the active skill was available and then it went away. What happened? I'm confused. If you guys saw that, let me know in the comments down below or maybe I'm crazy. Let me know I'm crazy in the comments, but... I saw it, I swear guys, I saw that. Okay, so we can't use the active skill here, unfortunately. Um, I guess we'll wait for another turn where that becomes available. I guess, that kind of sucks, man. I was I was excited for this like perfect blend of like different criteria, like all coming together. Okay, so we're taking 40, 54 damage there, over five million for the super without the active skill. And uh, it's gonna nice crit, no crit, but three million still. Okay, normal is doing double digits once again. Super meat, man, come on. We're not, we're never, we never get supered after we take a hit first. I want to see like how much we can actually tank a, a super for, like you know, after 
we get hit with that additional defense, right? Because he should be like over 300,000 defense at this point after he takes a hit. Okay, so what should we do here? What should we do here? This is a bit of a precarious rotation, mainly because we got Topo. And if Topo gets supered, it's going to be a bad time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put Topo in the middle, or sorry, in the beginning, because we only have two attacks there. So hopefully neither of those attacks are supers. I mean, oh my god, of course. <laughs> of course. The first attack is a super attack. We'll survive this turn, though. We'll survive this turn, because we got Vegito Blue after, we got the Beerus after, so I know those guys will be okay. Um, it just... The game always has to do this to me, man. They always have to do this to me. They always gotta super the, the unit that I don't want to get supered. Alright, so 3.5 mil. We didn't get uh, the hit, obviously, because we weren't in the first slot, but I was trying to, you know, save Topo this turn. Additional 3.6 mil. So as you can see, the attack did go up because he's able to stack attack infinitely as the event goes on. So the longer you go, the higher his attack stat's gonna be, the more damage you can do, right? So I think next turn, we should be able to... We definitely should be able to pop the active skill next turn. Alright, so I'm not gonna worry too much about anything, really. Because once we pop that, pop that active skill... Oh, I see what happened before, in the turn before. So we started off the turn before with... Um, with the active skill available, because we were below 70% HP, but then we healed up. That makes sense. And then we healed up past the point where we couldn't use the active skill anymore. That's what happened. Okay, I get it now. Anyways, um, this is the perfect situation here. We're going to pop this active skill. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. At least 8 million. Should be a little bit higher though. Should be a little bit higher with those links from the LR Beerus. We'll see though. I'm not like a great mathematician when it comes to calculating stats in Dokkan, so don't really, you know, look to me for that, but I'm expecting some pretty great numbers here. I'm expecting some pretty fantastic numbers here. All right, got hit. Perfect. And, oh, interesting. 7.9 mil instead of, I was expecting actually something higher. I guess I miscalculated, but still, <laughs> but still, that's impressive, right? I mean, I know I, I, I kind of hyped it up a little bit too much, considering you guys were probably expecting like 9, 10 million. We didn't get there. We didn't get there. But we still got close to 8 mil. We still crit for over 5 mil. Um, oh, one last part of his passive, actually, that I didn't talk about is that when he's facing Realm of Gods enemies, like, you know, we're facing right now, and actually we were on the last stage too, um, he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres and also gets attacks effective against all types. So this dude's attacks right now are going to be effective against all types. Um, I mean, because he's facing the, the Goku here, so... Oh, crap. Uh, I was going to say... Uh, you know what? This is probably going to be the last, that last turn anyways, because I think you guys have seen enough. And we're actually going to get a Dokkan attack here. So Topo's probably going to get us killed. But that's, I think, where the showcase should end anyways, because we've seen plenty. I think you guys are pretty impressed at this point. And I might have just confu convinced, confused, <laughs> convinced a few people who weren't going to summon to actually summon now. I mean, we'll see. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of effect this video, this, you know, showcase slash preview had on your decision to summon or not summon for Beerus. As I said, I will be summoning. I do want him, but uh, I'm going to be somewhat conservative because I still need to save most of my stones. My pri priority is still to save for the five-year anniversary, but I just can't resist. I honestly just can't resist. So this should be a fun super. This actually might kill... Oh my god, yo, we actually might, if we did just a little bit more damage, a little bit more damage, we might have been able to make it to the UI stage, but, I mean, this is fine, 86k is actually an amazing, amazing tank, right, that's actually, like, for that super, my Super Saiyan Blue Goku super, to tank that for 86k is actually really good, 
but uh, unfortunately Topo will be the one to get us killed. Yeah, we're taking 50, 60k. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. As expected. It's okay. No surprises. But guys, that is the Fizz Beerus preview. Um, I've been telling you, man. I've been telling you this man is a monster. And even though most of you guys will be skipping him, if you have the stones to spare, maybe try our multi or two. I mean, he will be back eventually, so you don't need him right now. And you probably should still save your stones, but he's insane. He's insane. That, that, that is still a fact. So that is the video. That is the preview. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below once again what you plan to do for Fizzbeerus when his banner comes. Is it a complete skip? Is it a 100% pass? Or are you going to do a couple multis? If so, how many multis? How many stones are you planning to spend? Let me know. I'm curious, and that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.